over again at Palomino Production Facility in Michigan, and I'm with Megan. Make her be on a video for a change. And we're going to go through the e bulb again, and we're going to show you about the DC to DC charging, which is the using your truck's alternator or your vehicle's alternator to be a generator. That's going to put 50 amps of power back in your batteries and help support you while you're dry camping. Or if you're driving down the road, it will charge while you're driving down the road. So in your vehicle, you'll see in here there'll be some red and black cables in your one of your compartments that come with the vehicle when it's shipped. I laid out the truck harness here. We're not going to wire tie it up underneath. Your dealer can install that, but I want to show you the basic principles. So we'll go to the front of the vehicle. And I have a short one that I have to it with this permanent mount one that will run under the vehicle to the rear of the coach or the rear of my truck so that I can plug it in while I'm towing or I could just back up and use it when I'm going down the road or when I'm in a campsite. This one you can if you if you don't want to use it while you're going down the road you can choose to order a short harness like this one and then just hook up the longer one at your campsite. These are available on Amazon in different lengths also. This is the Renegy one though that we've done. So I'm gonna hook up the one to the positive side. So we tighten that on there. And what this will do is give me power from the alternator again. Your alternator on a typical vehicle produces between 100 and 200 amps of power from your engine. And you're, you have only a certain amount of that available as you're going down, so your manual will do that, but this 50 amp charge controller will limit it to 50 amps is all you're taking from your vehicle, so you don't have to worry about it taking too much power. And once again, your dealer can hook this up for you. This is a temporary hookup that I'm just showing off how the system works. Normally these would be hooked on and then wrapped down along your truck's frame and be tied up underneath the vehicle. And then as you can see, and it's a connector would be mounted on your, right next to your seven way plug. So you could have that on your truck. And then there's a jumper harness in there that would go from your vehicle. Plug in there, uh, jump to the A-frame, and you can plug it in there. So now we're connected to the vehicle. I'm going to start the vehicle. First, let's go inside and look at the, see what our battery power is at. 